SMT Nation, we back. Nation, I want to give you guys this Verizon Network update. Uh, pretty good stuff here that I want to share and offer some details on uh, what we can expect moving forward from their 5G Ultra Wideband Network. Uh, things obviously trending up. Uh, the more and more they scale the upgrades at Verizon, uh, the better the network gets for a lot of folks across many states. The network is quite legacy, very outdated. Uh, so getting additional you know, frequencies on these radios and antennas upgrade on these sites is crucial, especially since Verizon, you know, now has become one of the fastest growing home broadband providers. You got to get your network modern and clearly people want home internet service and they'll take it from Verizon at those prices and at those performances. And overall, just the mobile network experience continues to improve with these upgrades. So they're scaling them. And of course that's happening. Uh, but here are some of the things that I'm seeing in my market, I'm seeing improved spectral efficiency. I'm seeing improvements to configurations, possibly some tuning going on. I'm not sure exactly what's happening, but uh, this is some testing from my home site and speeds are higher, right? More avail available capacity than normal. And I'm not sure what changed. Uh, the network configurations with respect to bandwidth looks the same. It's 100 megahertz of N77, the C band and uh, 20 megahertz of band 66. Uh, my tower site is one mile away from my home. The speeds, uh, the speeds you guys see in this testing, uh, they are, it's early, it's off peak, right? It's like quarter to six in the morning. Uh, but it's it's from the Pixel 8, uh, Pixel 7 Pro. And you know, the, the device is performing great. The network experience is great. You guys can see pretty fast. Usually it's like 600 megabits per second from this type of location. I'm not sure what they changed, but the speeds are getting better. Uh, the experience, I don't know. It, maybe it's folks leaving the home internet service. I don't, I really don't know. Uh, but maybe they've gone back to fiber or whatever. I don't, I, I'm just speculating at this point. But something I want to mention is there is still room for improvement. Uh, this speed test at 862 megs down and like 42 megs up, 24 ping, loaded. Uh, latencies in the 400s jitter at nine Th those are good quality metrics here's another test a little faster 877 down and then here's kind of a collection of four uh, tests that i ran congruently uh one for my family room one or uh, one set for my family room and one set for my dining room okay so speeds are getting faster and i i don't i don't know what it is exactly but there is still room for improvement so here's why i made this video Folks, it is Q4 of 2023, and Samsung radio markets for Verizon are still at 100 megahertz of bandwidth for N77. There is an additional 40 megahertz available here. All right, the restriction has been on the radio side. Samsung has needed to push a radio update, software update for Verizon. Uh, it's quite possible that that update is ready, and Verizon just has not implemented it into their configurations as part of their you know, engineering, uh, you know, fun functionality of the network. So, you know, I don't know when it's scheduled. I don't know what's going to happen, but a Q4 upgrade is imminent. All right. It, and we're in Q4 now, right? So I'm expecting an additional 300 megabit per second boost, possibly for additional throughput. That means more capacity. Uh, you'll see the uplink get boosted as well. Uh, so I'm only expecting bigger and better things here. All right, the additional bandwidth will be huge. Uh, I also think with respect to, you know, N48 and a standalone network for launch, that could be huge as well. You get more NR channel aggregation possibilities. Uh, getting N48, the CBRS, involved for additional downlink throughput is a possibility. All right, uh, Verizon typically has, you know, unlicensed spectrum that they use for CBRS. Every tower site has you know, an antenna and radio for that. Uh, so that that's in play. Uh, they have 30 megahertz PALs. They, they flirt with 40 and 60 megahertz of additional unlicensed spectrum. And of course, the small cells haven't even been upgraded for N77 yet. There's so much additional throughput uh, that's out there for Verizon in a market like mine where they hold almost 50% of the postpaid market share, right? So they've got a lot of potential here within this market uh in my particular neck of the woods they basically have a tower site every mile and they still have small cells littered across the area 
Uh, so there is a lot of throughput, folks, and uh, there's more potential. So if you're in an Ericsson market for Verizon, you've already been enjoying all your, your C-band, your 140, 160, 180, 200 megahertz of bandwidth. The people in Samsung markets like myself are waiting for this update. We should see the additional throughput. Uh, and, and of course, you've got the standalone 5G network launch looming. That's probably going to happen this quarter. Uh, maybe at the end of the quarter, maybe at the start of next quarter. Not sure, but it's imminent. Uh, you've got the N48 piece in play. 10 gig fiber circuits are scaling. Uh, really for Verizon, it's going to be about, you know, getting this network modernization national. You know, they're they're at like 230 million pops of 5G ultra wideband and C-band. We're expecting maybe 250 by the end of the year, maybe an update to 240, 250. Uh, we'll see what next year brings, but they just have to get this done across the country. You know, there's some states where the network is very legacy. There's some markets where, especially smaller markets, where the network is older and it just needs to be upgraded. Uh, get all these frequencies on air on all these sites. And it's going to be incredible. You know, uh, we, we've seen what T-Mobile can do in a few years. Here's what Verizon is doing in a couple of years really is incredible and AT&T kind of on the back burners to some folks in some markets uh, but they're scaling nicely as well uh, but this is huge guys uh, there's just potential here that's untapped that's coming so stay tuned for more updates I'll be sure to give you guys those when they are available so Ericsson has been cooking with gas time for Samsung to catch up get that update to Verizon Verizon get those things going and we've got more room to go uh, tell me what you guys think of this performance. Tell me what you think of these updates that are up and coming. What are you excited for? Share your experiences. Uh, I'll be sure to link my Twitter handle, my X handle. If you guys want to follow me there where I share all these photos. And uh, you guys can do that. And then, of course, if you want to support the channel and all the content here, uh, there are ways to do that. The links are in the description. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Peace.